her little boy poured a kettle of boiling water on himself and she luckily had the really quick thinking to put him straight in the bath in, in cold water. Any burn that is greater than the surface of the palm of the hand of the person who's been burnt probably should be seen. Hello and welcome. This is a very special and hugely important new series on Channel Mum. There are no other video-based first aid courses out there for parents quite like this one. So together with St John Ambulance, we're covering the topics that all parents want to know about. I'm joined by the lovely TV's Dr Dawn Harper and Mum's Kate and Nilly. Now we know how important it is as a parent to feel confident and reassured that we would know what to do in a medical emergency involving our little ones. We really hope that by watching our videos that you go away better informed and more prepared for any emergencies that hopefully will never happen. This week we are discussing burns. It's something that we know that every mum and dad worries about. I literally don't know the first thing about burns. Okay. Well, I guess like all things, prevention is better than cure. So there's a lot we can do to try and minimise the risk and that's things like always putting kettles and pans to the back of the surface and um, using those coiled cables rather than loose cables and so on making sure that we keep things out of reach and of course that does change so as your children grow up and I always used to, to joke with my friends that you could tell the age of the children in a house by the kind of height of <laughs> the various <laughs> levels of danger because you have to keep moving things up but um, we do need to be mindful of the fact that the younger the child, the more sensitive the skin. So we don't necessarily need to be talking about boiling pans and boiling kettles. Um, even a cup of coffee that is a temperature that's enough for us to be quite comfortable to drink could be enough to cause quite a severe mm. burn on a very young child. So we do have to be very careful. If you, uh, if you have a child who has a burn, the important thing is to get them under cool water straight away. So if it's a localised area, just under a tap, if it's a, a wide area, into a bath, but get them cool. And that needs to be for 10 minutes, that's a long time. If you look at a clock, it's a lot longer than you think it is. So watch the clock and make sure that you do that for 10 minutes. Uh, and then you wrap the burn in cling film. And the thinking behind that is to retain moisture and to protect the skin. Our, our skin is probably, our gr well it is, our greatest barrier to infection. And the minute that's breached with a, with a burn, we not only lose a lot of fluid, but we are much more prone to infection. Mm -hmm. So you need to, to cover the area. And any burn, I think it's probably fair to say that obviously any burn to the face um, needs to be seen uh, in A&E that, that day, that night, as, as it happens. But j as, a, as a rough guide, any burn that is greater than the surface of the palm of the hand of the person who's been burnt probably should be seen okay. uh, and checked out. Good advice. Now, um, so say a child has suffered a burn or is poured water down themselves onto their leg or something, would you remove their clothes, their trousers, before they get into the bath or the cold water, or does that risk okay, putting If they've got off? loose fitting clothes, you remove them. Yeah. If the clothes are getting stuck, so it's the minute you, you as I've just said, the, the, the skin is that barrier, the minute you breach that and the, the fabric starts to get stuck onto the skin, put them in the bath as they are right? and let the professionals do it. So don't be, don't be trying to get that off. Yeah. Okay, goodness. Um, girls, have you got any experience of burns? Has it happened to you or your child? My friend Siobhan actually has a, has a friend herself. Her little boy poured a kettle of boiling water on himself and she luckily had the really quick thinking to put him straight in the bath in, in cold water. So thank goodness he was actually okay. Oh my goodness. I think, um, I think it's a reminder of this conversation as well that it's okay, you were saying about removing dangers. It always strikes me, I've had a couple of times in restaurants where I've been holding my son on my lap, especially when he was younger, and like a waiter or a waitress has literally passed a cup of scalding hot coffee over his head, you know, when a child could grab. I think it's okay in those situations as well, maybe to, to say to people, hang on a second, that's yes. not okay. Yeah. And not fear being an over-paranoid parent, but it's, it's a real risk, isn't it? It's and, a hazard. And once it's on the table, push it into the yeah. table, because the, the, any, you know, toddlers are inquisitive, mm. that they'll want to, they they'll grab, want to touch it, and, and yeah, it can grab. happen in an instant. But even babies of a C's age, it's... Yeah, she grabs she, everything. She grabs yeah. everything. And she's, she yeah. grabbed my Christmas dinner. <laughs> <laughs> So you do have to be really, really careful and, and mindful of, of anything that's hot in the house, which is quite a lot going on, especially busy at dinner time when you've got kids around your feet. And some are, my, my child likes to open every cupboard and try and climb up where I'm cooking. It's kind of, it is a hazardous area, isn't it? And you've got to have your wits about you and know what to do 
in the event of a burn. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Dawn. I've learned a lot about burns today. We really hope this has been helpful. Who else looks after your little ones, though, that should watch this now? A grandparent, a partner? What about friends with little ones? Please share this video now to save a life. A massive thank you to St. John Ambulance for helping us create these videos, and of course, to Dr. Dawn and our lovely mums for being here today. Don't forget to check out the rest of the videos in this series. They're all on channelmum.com. We would love you to leave us a comment and join in with the conversation. Thank you.